guys, welcome to class. This practice is designed to be a wake-up call for your body. So I've planned it out just like the first stages of a day. So when we wake up, we feel quite slow. So the start of the practice is designed to match that. And then as we begin to wake up, the practice will evolve and will begin to progress into a little bit more of a dynamic sequence. You don't need any props for this practice, just a mat or a space in your house. And when you're ready, join me. Okay, so for child's pose, you can have knees together or as I prefer to take it, knees to the edges of the mat with the big toes touching and then just walking the arms forwards. Let the forehead rest on the ground. Let your body be heavy. Let the torso begin to melt even further. And taking these next few breaths just to let yourself be supported. Begin to deepen the breaths, lengthening the inhale, lengthening the exhale. With each exhale, finding a sense of letting go. Observing if you're holding onto any tension in the body. And with each exhale, see if you can release a little bit of that. And maybe that you adjust your body or it may be tension that you're carrying in the mind. Turn the head over to the right side and thread the left arm under the right. So it's like a child's pose, thread the needle, a hybrid, I like to think of it. From here you can keep the right arm extended or you can take the right arm around the back for a bind. Take another breath in position. And then softly exhale. Come back to child's pose. Turn the head to the left. Thread the right arm under the left. And soften into position. And then the left hand comes around the back for a bind if you're going there. Take another deep breath in position. At the end of the exhale, coming back to child's pose. Begin to lift the back of the heart, round the spine, and very slowly come up to tabletop. Bring the knees and hips width. Wrist below shoulders, let the hips sway from side to side. Head and shoulders moving freely. Let the back of the neck lengthen, draw the chin to the chest. With an inhale, lower the belly, draw shoulders back and down, lift the gaze. Exhale, round the spine, draw chin to chest. Inhale, the belly lowers, gazing forwards, hips tilting up. Exhale, round. Inhale, let the heart become heavy, gazing forwards. And exhale, round, press through hands and feet. Hands, feet and knees even. Inhale, come back to a neutral stance, tuck the toes. Press through hands and feet, lift the hips, come to downward facing dog. And just easing yourself into this, finding any movements that help you soften. I always find pedaling out the legs really helps sort of move into the hamstrings so it's less abrupt for them and over time they can loosen. Take an inhale to settle into stillness, lift the gaze, look forwards, exhale, step feet towards the hands, come to forward fold. Let everything go as you come down to your fold. Bend the knees round the spine with an inhale, slowly roll up, soften shoulders away, exhale to settle into Tadasana. 
Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, soften down. Right foot steps back, lower the back knee. Inhale, arms lift. Bring hands into prayer. Prayer to the top of the head. Glide the hands round the back of the head and interlace the fingers. So you create a little bit of support for the head and neck. With an inhale, open the elbows to the sides, open the chest, create space for the breath. And with an exhale, draw the low belly in, twist to the left and tap right elbow to left knee. Inhale, come back up, untwist. Exhale, crunch, twist to the left, tap elbow to knee. Inhale, back through center. Exhale to crunch and twist. Inhale back through center. Let the hips sink. Front knee draws a little bit further forwards. Chest opens up. Finding a slight lean back if that's comfortable. With the exhale, bring elbows together, round through the spine, fold forwards on the inside of left leg. Inhale, open back up. Exhale, soften the arms, step back to plank pose. The first round will go knees down. Shift the body forwards for modified chaturanga. And walk arms forwards, finding sphinx position. Keeping the back of the neck long. Feet and legs active. Press through the forearms, draw shoulders back and down. Take a deep inhale. With the exhale, gradually lower the chest, lower the chin. Bring hands below shoulders, press back for downward facing dog. Taking any movements you need. This time, right foot steps forward, lower the left knee. Inhale, arms lift. Hands come to prayer. Prayer to the top of the head. Hands glide down the back of the head. Fingers interlace. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, draw low belly in. Twisting to the right, tap left elbow to right knee as you crunch. Inhale, open, come back through center. Exhale, twist to the right and crunch. Draw low belly down. Inhale, come back. Final time, exhale to twist and crunch. Inhale, come back through center. Let the front knee draw forwards. Let the hips sink as you open through the heart. Find a slight leaning back. A sense of leaning into yourself. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, the arms lower to frame front foot, step back to plank. Shift forwards. Very slowly lower down through Chaturanga. Bring the whole body down to the ground. Keep the hands where they are and tuck the feet. Lift the hands off the mat so there's no weight in the hands. With an inhale, lift the chest, draw shoulders back. The gaze stays low on the ground. Activate glutes. And draw the low belly in, so activate abdominal muscles, protecting the lumbar spine. Take another inhale, roll shoulders back, lift the chest. With the exhale, softening down, press all the way back for downward facing dog. Pedaling out the legs. With an inhale, left leg lifts towards the ceiling. Begin to draw a circle all the way over to the left side and then gradually begin to step left foot forwards. And we'll take this a few times. Right leg lifts. Imagine that you're drawing a circle with the toes. The foot comes forwards and gradually comes down to the ground. We'll take this as many times as you need to bring the hands, the feet even, closer to the hands. And if you've got longer legs, it may mean that this is much more difficult. Settling into a forward fold. 
Bending the knees, rounding the spine. Inhale, roll yourself up. Soften shoulders away. Step the feet slightly wider. Take the weight onto the left foot. Lift and bend right knee. Bring hands into prayer. Begin to extend the right leg. And I find flexing the toes really helps switch on muscles in right leg. Take an inhaling position. Bend right knee. Draw the arms back. Find an action of drawing the chest forwards, finding a back bend. Bend left knee, step right foot back. Inhale, arms lift for high lunge. Begin to extend front leg. Draw the arms to the sides, fold forwards, exhale. Inhale, front knee bends, arms lift. And exhale, front leg extends, arms come to the sides. Bring hands down to the ground, lower the back knee. Keep the front leg extended, lift toes off the mat, flex the front foot. Lift and lengthen, lower body away from the thighs. And exhale, fold so the lower body Lower belly comes in connection with upper thigh. Stay here for a few rounds of breath. Remembering that it is an evolution. So the first level of the posture that you come to might not be the furthest extent that you take it to. With each breath, just finding a little bit more space. Begin to bend into the front knee. Lift the back foot off the mat, finding the balance, bring hands into prayer position. This is quite challenging for the back leg. You may begin to feel the leg beginning to cramp. If this happens, just put the foot down and take a break. Keeping the back toes flexed so there's activation through the back foot. Take another breath in. Lower the back foot down to the mat. Bring hands to the mat, lift the back knee. Inhale, come up through high lunge. Bring hands into prayer at heart center. Step the back foot a foot closer. Take the weight into the front leg, lift the back foot off the mat. Coming through warrior three. With control, coming up to a one-legged Tadasana. And bringing the knee in towards the chest. Extending the right leg once more and gradually lowering right foot to the ground, switching sides. Left foot lifts, left knee bends. Find a place to focus your gaze. Extend the left leg, flexing left toes. Begin to bend left knee. Draw the arms back, find a back bend. Begin to bend into right leg. And very slowly lower the left foot back. Inhale, arms rise for high lunge. You may need to re-step into the feet. Sometimes they don't always land where we plan them to. Exhale, arms lower, front leg extends, fold forwards. Inhale, front knee bends, reaching up. Exhale, front leg extends, arms reach back, folding a little bit further. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale to fold. This time coming all the way down for a few breaths. Begin to lower the back knee and extend the front leg. You may need to edge front foot a little bit further forwards. Flex the front foot. Take an inhale. Lift the lower belly away from the upper thigh. And with the exhale, find an action of folding from the hips. So you bring lower belly close to upper thigh. Let the back of the neck lengthen. As you move through each breath, finding an evolution of the posture. So it becomes progressive rather than just going to your furthest extent straight away. Next inhale, lift the body, bend into the front knee, 
lift the back foot off the mat, finding balance, bring hands into prayer. And this may be more or less challenging on this side than it was on the previous side, so it's always worth just noticing what is different, noticing where there is an imbalance. And I like to let that inform the rest of my practice. So if I know that one leg is slightly stronger, sometimes I hold it for more time on the leg that I know that is weaker. So I try to counter that imbalance and bring things into, into balance. Staying for one more breath, lowering the back foot. Bring hands to the mat, lift the back knee, inhale, come up, high lunge. Step the back foot a little bit closer. Bring hands into prayer and come through warrior three. Keep the back foot flexed so the back leg is switched on and very slowly coming up to one legged Tadasana. Extend left leg again. And with control, lower left foot to the ground. Step the feet out slightly wider than hips width. With an inhale, arms lift, knees bend, hips sink. Shift the weight into the heels, lift the toes slightly. Open the arms out to a cactus, let the hips tilt back, tailbone tilting up, opening the chest. With an exhale, round the spine, tuck tailbone, draw belly button in. Inhale, open back up. Exhale, rounding. Staying for another inhale to open up. And with the exhale, come all the way down through forward fold. Let everything go. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale to soften down. Step the right foot back. Lower the right knee. Bring both hands to the inside left leg. Finding lizard pose. Keep right hand on the ground, left arm reaches forwards, take an inhale, begin opening out, twisting to open up. Let the right ear draw towards right shoulder. Find a little length down the left side of the neck. And slowly coming back. Tucking the back toes, lifting the back knee, turn the back foot out. Keep left hand to inside, left foot, reach right arm skywards. Gaze stays low on the floor, head and neck is relaxed. And then beginning to take the weight out of the left hand, coming up onto left fingertips. And then slowly coming all the way up to warrior two. Tuck the tailbone, draw the belly button in. Open the front hand skywards with an inhale, come up to reverse warrior. And exhale, warrior two. Bend left elbow, rest elbow on knee, reach right arm all the way forwards. Opening the torso to the side. And lifting the torso away from the front leg so there's still activation through the core. With the next inhale, windmill arms come back up through warrior two, extend front leg. Turn left toes to the side, fold all the way forwards. Coming to straddle fold. Hands can come down to the floor or they may stay on the hips. Begin to shift the weight forwards and backwards into the toes and then into the heels. Finding a center of balance somewhere where you feel rooted through the whole of the foot. Bring the hands back to the hips with an inhale, lift back up. And then turning the right toes to the back of the mat, bending the right knee, finding warrior two on the other side. Take a moment to ground through the legs. Open the right hand skywards. Inhale, come up and back, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Bring right elbow to knee, reach left arm all the way forwards. Keeping the chest open. Lifting the rib cage, is <laughs> the rib cages? The rib cage away from the hips. 
And with the next inhale, come back through warrior two. Bring right hand to inside, right foot, left arm is reaching skywards. Draw the left shoulder back, torso is open, take another inhale. With the exhale, lower left hand, turn out the back foot, so the hips square, lower the back knee, untuck the back toe. Left hand stays grounded, right arm reaches forwards, inhale, begin twisting to the right side. Draw left ear towards left shoulder, let the right side of the neck lengthen. Take an inhale, roll right shoulder back. At the end of the exhale, come back through center. Step back to plank pose. Shift the weight forwards, lower all the way down to the belly. With an inhale, come up through Bhujangasana. Finding as little amount of weight through the hands as possible. So the focus is on strengthening the spine. With that exhale, come down and press back to find child's pose. Knees can be together or knees can be out wide. Arms can be extended or arms can be by your side. And taking a few moments just to come back to a steady breath. Begin to let the torso soften a little bit further. Walking the hands in towards the body, lift yourself up to a kneeling position. Swing the legs round and out ahead. Lower yourself down to the back. Hug both knees in towards the body. We get to rock the knees from side to side. Giving the spine a little bit of a massage. And the knees can draw out wide as well if you prefer that variation. I quite like this for the hips. Bringing the knees back in through center, giving the body a final hug. Take a deep inhale here. With the exhale, let the legs go down to the mat. Soften the arms either side of the body. Soften shoulders down the back. When you feel ready to come out, Reach the arms overhead, take a full body stretch. Roll over onto one side. So the arm that is on the bottom will support your head like a pillow. And the arm that is on top, you can press that into the ground to lift yourself up. And come back to a seated position, just a comfortable Sukhasana, cross-legged position. Just beginning to close down the eyes again. Coming back to a conscious breath. And we'll be finishing the practice with a few rounds of Nadi Shadana, alternate nostril breathing. And you can open the eyes if you need a visual guide. I'll be using the right hand. Index and middle finger will come to the third eye. And we'll be working with the thumb and ring finger. And to begin, you just take a normal inhale and exhale as you would through the nose through the, or through the mouth. And then close the right nostril with the ring finger. Take an inhale for about four counts. Close the left nostril and retain the breath for four counts. Exhale through the right nostril. Take an inhale for four counts through the right nostril. 
Hold the breath for four. And exhale through left. Inhale deeply through left. Holding the breath for four and exhaling right. Inhale through right. Hold the breath and as you do, soften the shoulders. Exhale left. Inhale through left. Holding the breath. Exhaling right. Inhaling through right. Hold at the top of the breath. Sitting up tall. Exhaling left. Inhale deeply through left side. Hold at the top of the breath. Exhale, right side. Inhale, right side. Hold at the top of the breath. Exhale, left side. Lower the hand down to your lap. Come back to a natural breath. Just noticing if you experience any changes. Continue to find a little bit more softness through the shoulders. Continue rooting down through the sits bones. But at the same time sitting up tall as if to lengthen both ways. And taking a final moment just to thank yourself for the time that you spent working on your own practice, showing up for you, creating space, taking up space. Thank you for joining me for today's practice. Namaste.